What is up guys and gals, this is Brandon back with another video. Um, today we're going to be mining Z coin and a lot of people have been having trouble trying to mine the MTP or Z coin algorithm um, on, on Windows computers more specifically for mining rigs or dedicated mining rigs. Uh, but the easiest way is to get it up and running on Simple Miner. You can also do it on Hive OS. Um, it is possible on Windows, but on mining rigs where they have um, you know, less RAM and also a lot of times a very weak CPU, uh, it leaves a lot more to be desired and a lot more crashing trying to run MTP or the Zcoin algorithm. Um, so to get up and running the easiest way possible, I'm going to suggest Simple Miner. That's what I use. I'm actually using it right this second. Um, I was doing a little bit of testing, and currently right now I have, I think it's one, two, three, four, five graphics cards running on a, um, a Intel integrated CPU. So it's like a, uh, it's not even a Celeron. It's a very, very weak CPU. It's the one that comes built in uh, with the, um, the OctoMiner, and only on four gigs of RAM, and they're all running pretty well. Uh, you'll see I got a 1070 doing uh, 2 kilohash or right at 2 mega hash, um, 1060 at 1.4 mega hash, a 1080 at uh, 2.39 mega hash um, for a total of 9.3 mega hash or right here is 9.71 mega hash showing. Um, so after you download Simple Miner and um, you get your uh, your system up and running. If you need to do a video on that, I just look up how to get Simple Mining running um, under my channel, Brandon Coin. How to do how to run Simple Miner? That'll show you how to get it up and running. Then you're gonna want to go to the uh, the group config. You're gonna want to do add a new group, and the miner you're gonna be looking for is Crypto Dredge version zero point one six point two. And then CUDA 9.1, that's the most compatible um, among all of them at the moment. Some of the new CUDAs don't uh, cooperate well with some of the drivers, so vice versa, back and forth. CUDA 9.1 on Crypto Dredge. Um, now, all you got to do is enter in, uh, the in the minor options, I'm going to copy my minor options. And the only thing you have to change out of the minor options for this to work for you is the wallet address. You just put in your Zcoin wallet address, then you hit save. After that, uh, the pool we're going to be using is the two miners pool. So then you just go to two miners. I'll, I'll leave the two miners um, dot com wallet, um, the URL. And all you got to do is put your wallet address in and then it'll show you your uh, your hash rate your unpaid balance, your total paid balance, all that stuff for Zcoin. Um, and then it mines. Uh, I noticed this, this coin does like core, likes a little bit of memory too, but more than anything, it likes power. So make sure to give it as much power as you feel comfortable with. Um, obviously, I'm not overvolting my cards. I still am um, underpowering them by about 80%, give or take. Um, so yeah, just comment down below if you have any questions getting it up and running. Uh, I've been successful with um, running this now for a little over a couple weeks, and Zcoin's price has been very steady above $5. So uh, I am mining my Zcoin to a Coinomi wallet address, which Coinomi is a Android wallet. If you do need a good wallet, I, I suggest that one. That's the one I like because it's got a built-in exchange. Um, but yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Everything is down below in the description. And uh, yeah, hope, uh, hope this covered everything good enough for you. So, peace.